Hi guys, um, I am going to quickly do my embed recipe again. I wanted to update this for ages and I never got around to it. So there's always something more important to do, but I figured I should probably get on it. Um, this one's my go-to embed recipe when I just want really fizzy embeds. Uh, this is my 125 recipe because pretty much everything in it is 125. So we've got um, 125 grams of sifted bicarb in here. I've got 125 grams of citric acid, which I will sift in a moment. In here, I have 1.25 grams of distilled water. I've also added about 0.25 grams of my water-soluble dye powder. This is really strong, so you don't need a lot. If you are using liquid dyes i would say you probably have to remove some of the water content so take it out of that um if you're using lakes you'll probably need more than what i just used so after i've mixed in the colorant into that 1.25 grams of water i then add 1.25 grams of coconut oil so you will obviously need some little jeweler scales for this i have these little things here, mine are being a bit funny at the moment because I spilled water on them again or polysorbate or something sticky and gross. So I'm going to have to buy, I think I might buy another two because I'm constantly spilling crap on them. There's always sticky crap and I have to undo it and fix it. And Anyway, I'm waffling. So remember everything is 125. The dries are 125. And the liquids are 1.25. The only thing that's different is your colorant, and that's going to depend on what you're using. So first step, of course, is to pop this in here. Same as my other method. We're just going to flick some in here quickly and get it all out. Okay, once that's done, we're going to add our citric acid. And mix it in. You'll end up with something like this. Alright, now I'm going to show you how I uh, make my little tabs. Usually, let's see if you can see this, I will use a half a teaspoon. And what we do, I'm going to show you if this is in the right spot. I just take it, push it against the side here, and then we tap it out. Oh, should just tap out. I think my spoon was a little bit wet. Like that. And you just want to keep going and going and going, basically. Just do that over and over until you kind of want to smash your head into a wall because it's so tedious and boring. So that is my 125 Ember recipe. I need to come up with a better name, but whatever. Um, and these don't take too long to dry. The batch is pretty good. It should last the entire batch without going dry on you while you're scooping out. I tend to get to the bottom right towards the end. I'll notice it's getting a little bit dry, but the coconut oil helps you work with it even when it does start drying out. Um, yeah, well, I hope that helps. That's my go-to embed for a one-to-one -one ratio. Before I go, most importantly, I want to say hello to Olivia. Hi Olivia, I know you can't see my face right now, but it's probably a good thing. Um, I hope you enjoyed your pancakes the other day and I hope you had a couple extra for me because I love pancakes. Anyway, I'm going to leave you on that note. Um, have fun making egg beds and I might upload another video later when I get a chance. It is so hot here, it's like 36 degrees. I'm sweating, my aircon's not working very well. Oh my god. I just, I should be outside sun baking. I'm that hot anyway. I should just take advantage of it. Um, okay, I'm going to stop waffling because this will take me 10 years to upload. Bye, guys. Love you.